There are times in our lives when reading the Bible is like a warm, familiar blanket that comforts us in the worst of circumstances. We pull that blanket up over us, comforted by the words and promises of God. Even when we struggle, we know our God is faithful and will not abandon us. I did that this morning, pulled the blanket up when I sought the words of Psalm 130. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. There are other times, though, that that warm, familiar, comforting blanket of scripture really hinders us more than helps. We pull that blanket up over our heads. We use scripture to bury our thoughts in the words of God and avoids what needs dealt with. We use scripture to keep God at arm's length and keep us from having a fuller relationship. Sometimes reading the Bible isn't what we need. We know God's promises. We know God's truths, but instead we need known by God. For some of us, many in this Williamsburg community and area, right now, in the midst of this Holy Week, where the stories of Jesus' suffering take on a whole new meaning, we need, no, we need God to know that we are angry and hurting, disappointed and lost and grieving in our own words and thoughts. We need to pour out our shattered hearts and our own screams and tears and clenched fists and even in our numbness. All of this, this awfulness is as awful as we feared and imagined it might be. We've seen and felt too much brokenness in the last few days and weeks especially as we march towards Good Friday and Easter, once again with Jesus, and now with Tate's legacy. We often go to scripture to know what it is to be saved by God. This week, I encourage you to go to God to be saved. Go with your outrage at seeing too much of the world's darkness and unfairness. Get it all out there. And let God's salvation pour into your life in a new, deeper way. Our God can handle it. Our God can handle all of it. So, let it out while still hoping, still waiting, still waiting more than someone waiting for the dawn. Amen.